It is said that the people are revolting. You said it. They stink on ice. It seems as though every decade there's a new revolution to be had. In the 60s, it was the civil rights movement, the 70s was the decade for feminism, and the 80s was all about environmental activism. According to Kale Lawson, culture jamming will belong to our era. Culture jamming refers to the anti-consumerist movement to subvert mainstream media culture and call out those in power for essentially brainwashing us. Culture jamming is a way for us to say, hey, we're not sheeple. We're not going to buy two to get one free because frankly we don't even need one. We're not going to buy the newest iPhone simply because it got a haircut or whatever. And we're definitely not participating in Black Friday. I bring this to every Black Friday. It keeps everybody in line. In Kali Lawson's book, Culture Jam, he argues that America is no longer a country, but a multi-million dollar brand. He splits the book up into four parts and uses the four seasons for comparison. We begin with autumn, the season of change where we assess the current damages brought on by this mass media environment. These damages include mood disorders such as being disembodied from the earth, and infotoxins which create unrealistic perceptions of the world cultivated through repeated exposure. Moving on to winter, we start to rough out the problem. What are the causes of these damages? In spring, we begin brainstorming possibilities for renewal. How do we bring about this oppositional culture? How do we begin the revolution? Can we? And finally, we end with summer, the season made up of potential positive outcomes. A good example of culture jamming can be seen through the work of Banksy, an anonymous graffiti artist from England. His artwork can be found along walls, streets, and bridges throughout the world, often voicing controversial, political, and social commentary. Now, you don't have to be extreme and run off to go graffiti the nearest establishment, but the message is clear. America needs to wake up from this commercialized slumber and bring back the true land of the free.